What's going on guys? Dwayne here with My Investment Journey and I am back again. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about where to invest your first $500. Now, with that being said, please don't misunderstand. I'm by no means a guru at all. I'm just giving you my opinion on where I think you should consider investing your first $500. But hey, if you're new to this channel, once again, my name is Dwayne with My Investment Journey and I talk about how to start investing in the stock market and I show you my investment journey. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Okay, so when it comes to the stock market, once again, I'm by no means a guru at all. There are a lot of ways to make money in the stock market. There's a lot of different ways to skin that particular cat. But in this video, I wanna to talk to you about where to invest your first $500. Now, this video is gonna be geared towards people that are just kind of getting started in regards to the stock market. And I feel like $500 is not a whole lot of money that the average person should be concerned about. However, you do want to invest your money wisely. And I wanna make sure that we have the right expectation when it comes to investing your money in the stock market. So I'm gonna give you guys three places to consider investing your money especially your first five hundred dollars in the stock market and this type of, of investment is going to be a slow build over time it's not going to be quick money it's going to be time in the stock market not necessarily timing the stock market when you're able to time the stock market you will you know maybe be able to make some money here and there and you you might be able to do it and, and do it well but the average person will not be able to do it and do it well so we're going to be spending time in the stock market and as you spend time in the stock market the history of the stock market is that it continues to grow or recover and then continue to grow so that is the history of the stock market so once again i'm going to be giving you two particular things to consider to invest your first $500. And then the third one is a little more aggressive. Okay, so right now I'm sharing with you guys on the computer screen my current portfolio with Robinhood where I have invested currently uh, $204,000. Well, that's what my account is valued at right now. I really have invested a little bit over $206,000. And I can show you guys that if I click on all, and so as you can see here, I started to reinvest in Robinhood again uh, in May 2020. And since that time, I have continued to put more and more money into the market. And that has been a little over $206 thousand dollars so as you can see I'm currently still down because um, I'm currently sitting at two hundred and four thousand dollars all right but that's beside the point uh, the things that I'm going to talk about in this particular video is uh, not necessarily as dangerous and risky as day trading which is what I was doing and which allowed me to be down negative sixty three thousand dollars at one point but that's okay we're not going to dwell on it okay so the first thing that i want to talk about is i want to talk about this particular etf which is going to be the vanguard s p uh etf the ticker symbol for this is v as in victor o o v o o uh, and the reason why i'm talking about etfs is the fact that you're able to do several things number one you're able to have a collection of companies that you're going to be invested in you're not going to be only invested in one company Whereas if something goes wrong with that particular company, you're going to be in trouble. With an ETF, you're going to be diversified just by design. There are several companies. And with this particular one, there's actually over 500 companies, the top 500 companies in the United States to be more specific. So if I share with you guys here on the Vanguard website, because there's a lot of cool things to see here. One of the things that you need to know is that there is an expense ratio. And so right here, you guys can see the expense ratio is 0.03%. So what that means is for every $10,000, you are going to be paying $3. For every $10,000 you have invested, you will be paying $3, okay, which is not bad. Now, of course, you could have an account with Fidelity. Fidelity doesn't have an ETF, but Fidelity does have it where they have a zero account where you can uh, invest in this similar 
uh, stock, well, it's going to be an index fund, but there is no uh, requirement. Vanguard does have requirements for some of their index funds, but this is an ETF, which is why I'm showing you guys on Robinhood. There is no minimum requirement. You don't have to have $3,000 in order to start investing because we're talking about investing your first $500. So there is an expense ratio, which it's not a big deal. Okay, you're going to be investing $500. You're, you're not even worrying about the expense ratio at this particular point. Uh, one thing that you should consider is you want to consider investing uh, over time. So you start with $500 and then you might you know put $100 in every time you get paid if that's bi-weekly uh, or if that's too much money for you then you should consider putting in at least $100 every single month. No matter what is going on you put $100 in this particular ETF. So. Um, I'm going to scroll down here and as you can see um, on the Vanguard website, I should include this in the description of the video, I'll have it the link to this particular site in the description of this video so you can click on it and come to Vanguard's website and check this out. So they're telling you your risk potential here, uh, and they're saying it's a 4 uh, and of course you know the closer to 5 you are, more risk, more reward. Now if I scroll down here they're giving you, and I like this a lot, they're giving you a couple of different charts. On the left hand side, they're showing you average annual returns, okay, and this is as of June 30th, 2021. For the, for the one year return, it's not really good to look at that because of coronavirus and the fact that like a lot of stocks were low and then you know some of them have recovered all the way. So of course the one year return is ridiculous right now, it's up 40 40 uh, percent. The three-year return is 18 percent as you can see, five-year return 17 uh, percent. The 10-year return is 14.8 percent and then of course they have the return since inception uh, which is uh, 2010 and that's 15.8 percent. Now I, what I like about what Vanguard does on their website is they give you a hypothetical growth if you had invested ten thousand uh, dollars in this particular ETF which is VOO and this is way back in 2011 so as of July 31st had you invested ten thousand dollars ten years ago you would your ten thousand dollars would have earned you potentially um, you would be up to $41,000 right now. That is a massive return. So I do like that. Now if you scroll down here as well, you can see that there are 507 companies uh, that this particular ETF has. So there are 507 507 stocks okay um, and then once again it shows you the top 10 holdings you see Apple Microsoft Amazon Alphabet Inc which is Google Facebook Inc Berkshire Hathaway Tesla Nvidia JP Morgan and Johnson and Johnson on the left hand side it shows you how this particular ETF is broken up as far as what percentage goes where so you can see the largest chunk here is going to be towards information technology and so on and so forth now this is VOO this is an ETF and you can get this on Robinhood and the reason kinda of why I'm going with Robinhood is because I have a Robinhood account and it's a little bit easier it's a little more user friendly especially for beginners so in the past five years you can see here that the return for this particular ETF is actually hundred and two percent which is pretty dope. Uh, I'm going to go over to the next ETF which is VTI this is another Vanguard ETF and for the last five years you can see that the return is a hundred and three percent so it's just a little bit higher than VOO which is going to be the S&P 500. VTI is based on the total stock market okay so this is going to have a lot more companies whereas the S&P 500 as you can see uh, on the Vanguard site it had uh, 507 different companies. This particular one, VTI, it has, which is the total stock market, it has, I'll scroll down and show you guys real quickly, it has 3,908 companies. Okay, so you are diversified. That is what is what I like about these ETFs is, once again, you're not investing in just one company, right? You're investing in a basket, a bouquet, a variety of companies and different companies. It's not one sector or one genre, right? It's a bunch of different companies. So 3,908 eight companies which is pretty freaking awesome uh, there is an expense ratio here as you guys can see and it's 0 0.03 percent once again if you had ten thousand dollars invested you would be paying three dollars a year 
Okay, so if I scroll down here, uh, of course they're showing you the risk potential here. This is a four out of a five. And then also it's showing you a hypothetical growth if you had $10,000 invested 10 years ago. Once again, I absolutely love this because it really, really shows you where you could be. Now, this video is not about if you had $10,000 and where you should invest it. It's about $500 because it's just about taking action. It's about starting where you are and it's about just continuously in investing money over time. Okay, you don't have to have $10,000 to start. You don't even have to have $1,000 to start. Okay, you don't even have to have $500. Just get started. That's the thing. A lot of people want to wait for things to be perfect before they start instead of starting just get started okay so if you had ten thousand dollars invested back in 2011 you hypothetically would have uh forty one thousand dollars right now in when this particular etf so that is really really cool of course on the left hand side you can see the different um the different percentage as far as the returns are concerned uh once again the last year 44 percent three years uh 18 percent uh, five years, 17.9%, 10 years, 14.7%, and then since the, its inception, 2009, 8.80%. If I scroll down once again, you have 3,908 companies, and the top holdings for those companies here are very similar. Actually, it is exactly identical to the VOO, which is going to be the S&P 500. So these top 10 companies here are the exact same companies that is in the other ETF that I talked about, which is VOO. Now, this last particular ETF is for the people that want to be a little bit more aggressive. And as you guys can see, for the five-year return, it's actually been 256%. It's up 256% for the last five years. Now, if I jump on Vanguard's website here, the ticker symbol for that one is going to be VGT, and this is Vanguard Information Technology ETF. VGT, I will be sure to include this particular, uh, the link to the Vanguard website in the description of this video. All right, so currently, as you guys can see, the expense ratio is 0.10%, okay? So if you had $10,000 invested, which I'm not sure why I'm giving that example because we're talking about $500, right? If you had $10,000 invested, you would pay $10 a year for this particular ETF, which is not bad. Now, as you can see on the risk potential, it is a five out of a five. So more risk, more reward. So once again, if you want to be really aggressive with your first $500, this is where you can throw it. Um, this particular one here, as you can see, if you had $10,000 invested back in 2011, that $10,000 hypothetically would have earned you all the way up to $73,000. That's seven times your money. You can't really beat that. I wish I knew about this back in 2011. I'd be sitting pretty good now and I would have continued to invest money a little bit over time. Every single month, no matter what, you want to put in at least $100. You just have to continue to put money into this ETF because it grows over time. And on the left-hand side, you can see the return for the last year, 44%, the last three years, 31%, the last five years, 31% uh, the last 10 years, 21%, and since its inception in 2004, uh, it's given 13%, so thir it's up 13%. Uh, if I scroll down here, you guys can see that currently the number of stocks in this particular ETF is 357 here on the right-hand side, and the top 10 holdings are very similar to the others, except uh, a little different. So you have Apple, Microsoft, NVIDIA, Visa, PayPal, MasterCard, Adobe, Intel, Salesforce.com, and Cisco.com. And then on the left-hand side, it shows you the breakdown for what percentage goes where as far as um, how much percentage is going to be, your money's gonna be invested in this particular ETF. Now, once again, this is the one that if you wanna be really aggressive, ticker symbol VGT, this is Van Vanguard Information Technology ETF. Um, man, this hypothetical situation, if you had 10 Gs back in 2011, and to go seven times your money right now as of July 31st, 2021, you cannot beat that. You know, As a matter of fact, I am going to get started sooner than later. Um, there are going to be more videos that I will be making showing you guys my journey and showing you that I myself 
am invested in these particular ETFs that I'm bringing to your attention. But I just wanted to do a video once again to talk about where you should put your first $500 uh, in regards to investing. Once again, not a guru, uh, nowhere close to a guru. I'm an average Joe. As a matter of fact, you can see, right, I shared with you guys in the beginning of the video that I'm still down currently, but it won't always be the case, which is really exciting for me and you guys as well because I'll share my journey, all right? Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel tremendously. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. All right. Once again, my name is Dwayne with my investment journey, and I approve this video. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, take care and be blessed. Peace.